Kemp introducer, Welcome, Lisa. And then our brother Joe Harrington at the Monday Night Men's Group. He invited a nice couple, and they're here tonight, Stoyan and his wife, Lena. So welcome to you. Welcome to you, Crusaders. We have a prayer and praise list going around. Please keep it moving. Any prayer requests or praise reports, put it on there so we can pray for that during the week and uh, lift that up to the Lord. Um, every picture we have a name tag. I want to mention everybody once again, we are on Facebook, we are on YouTube, so if you want to check out our weekly studies or whatever we're doing here, any craziness that's going on. Uh, so we're there. And then also we send out a midweek hello. There's a lot of information, tells the things our group is doing, and what's going on, some Bible verses, some good stories. So if anyone's not getting that, see one of the ministry leaders or one of the leaders and get, uh, let us get your email address and we'll make sure we put you on the list. Tonight we're going to be celebrating birthdays. Anybody have a birthday in this month, November? Oh. All right. Happy birthday. How about born again? Anyone born again in November? Or anyone baptized in November? All right. Well, anyway, we'll, we're still celebrating. Anniversary? Anything? I don't care. Seven years of this church. All right. This church. Um, Last Monday we had boys night out at Joe's house. We had about 20 people, 20 guys showed up. We had a really, really great time. And he's not here tonight, but we want to thank Joe and Allie for the hospitality of opening their home to us. It's quite a house, so we'll work this class on anyway. I'm mentioning that this coming Monday is girls' night out. It's going to be at Padrino's. On the table here, we have a sheet. We need to, anyone who's going, please put your name on and your phone number so that uh, Marsha or uh, Donna can get in touch with you. Also, there's a sample menu. If anyone wants to check out the menu, it's sitting right over here on the table over there. Okay. Um, okay, now the big event is next week is our Thanksgiving uh, uh, dinner. And um, we have a list going around here. Uh, Ricardo has the list. Now this is critical that we have this filled out tonight because it's next Saturday. So here's a list, whatever you can bring, and also when you put your name on what you're bringing, if you're bringing somebody with you, let's say one person, you put your name, you're bringing two people, then put two for guests. Not Don't count yourself, just whatever guests you're bringing. Okay. okay? Children Yes, any children as well. And we want as many, doesn't matter, bring 15 people. But we just need a count, we have to have a count. You can't count. Can I bring enough for 12 people? Yes. Yeah, we're trying to bring enough for a dozen. I was just going to say that. If you signed up last week, you're already on here. If you want to review it just to make sure we got it right, please do so. If you weren't here last week and you want to review, there's lots of space still to bring lots of stuff. Um, again, like Joe said, the count is real important. We want to make sure we have enough food. Uh, for your phone number, please put your phone number. So if you have any questions, we can contact you. Or if you have any questions, you can see us afterwards. Yeah. It's going to be going around. Thank you. Right, and we do need to have that because it is next uh, next Saturday night. Uh, the format for next Saturday, we'll all meet in here like we normally do. Mark is going to give us a very brief teaching from 7.30 to 8 while we set up the room because we can't get in there until 7.30. And, and we will start eating at 8 o'clock. And uh, we've got to be out of there by 9.30, so that, that should be perfect. It should be awesome. So uh, that's next week. And then um, the only other thing we really have coming up in, in uh, November is on the 25th will be Manor Care Nursing Home. And uh, I'll let Steve talk a little bit about that next week, which is the week before we go. Right, Steve? Is that right? Or has it changed this month? Yeah, not yet, yeah, but I'll be out of town the next two weeks. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll him. Yeah, but I'll show you some stuff. On okay, cool. So that, that's coming up. And then in December, we, we have the firm date for our Christmas party. We just don't have the firm date of the law. It'll be on campus. We're just not sure which building, where it's going to be. But it will be uh, Friday, December the 14th. It's going to be in Evans Chapel to accommodate our large We were going to. Yeah, I know, but okay. Well, anyway. We'll confirm. Well, the problem was with the kitchen. That was what we were worried about. 
Okay. But anyway, we can talk about that anyway, that's not till December. So uh, the other thing that's coming up, uh, and we want to do this Christmas theme is going to be old fashioned Christmas, which is Jesus. That's what we're going to, that's going to be our theme this year. Uh, amen. This year only? Well, this year especially. Also, again, it's, a, it's a, about a month away, not actually more than a month, but there'll be no Bible class on Saturday, December the 22nd. There'll be no Bible class on that day because the church is there. There's so activity going on with all the Christmas uh, services Excuse me, and Joe. so on and so forth. Joe, okay. excuse me, what about the Saturday after Thanksgiving? Are we having I don't know. I don't know the answer. Larry, do you know the answer? Oh, what's the question? Are we meeting the Saturday after Thanksgiving? Yes, until otherwise notified. Yes, until otherwise notified, which would be... I would know. It's a political year, and it's still going from there. We'll notify you by next week, then. We'll have that answer next week. Okay, the day after. Good idea, Alan. I'm glad Alan's here. Keeps us in line. Uh, one other thing that was just brought to my attention, and uh, maybe we can get some more of these made up or something between now and then, but... But Moses, our brother Moses has a, a ministry. They do uh, caroling to nursing homes, which is something Steve does too. So this is, I don't know what days. This is December the 8th. No problem. Okay, so his is going to be December the 8th, Moses. And this is a, a flyer about if anybody wants to go along for caroling. Um, and we'll, we'll probably talk more about it next week. He just gave this to me, so I haven't really reviewed it. Did you want to talk a second, Moses, about this? Quick. I've been doing caroling for years. I'm a choral director, just in case you don't know. I'm a music minister of my profession for a number of years. And I've done caroling with high school students, adults, and whatnot. While I've been down here in South Florida, I've done a number of them. I've done six, seven of them every year. And so this year, I'm going to be doing it again. I, I typically take somewhere between 30 to 40 people, including children. So we go to various nursing homes. Uh, to do this. And so this year is going to be December 8th, which is the second Saturday of December. From 1 o'clock up, we're going to two nursing homes, and you're going to be uh, meeting at my home. From there, we're going to go out. The nursing homes are relatively close, and I live out over here at the Pine Island Commercial at my home. So we'll be going to two nursing homes, and then afterwards, we'll come back. Everybody brings food and whatnot. Oh, we'll eat. What's the day? In December, it's the second Saturday of the December. Day. Yes. Okay, it's an afternoon, early afternoon on. And I say on because I, people like to stay in my home until 9 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Okay, guys, it's time to go. You know? Let's not go back. We have five o'clock. I know. <laughs> but um, what I can do is I can do something that you can leave me your email address, your name and email address. I'll put you on the mailing list. Because I send out emails all week telling people you know, what, what's going on, how the rehearsals are going, and you know, all that kind of stuff. So if you're interested, you can just pick a back message up. I have more. Okay. And you can put your name and email. Okay, and I gladly send out on those. Thank you, Moses. Okay. Or just to see Moses with you. Thanks, Moses. And I have his phone number two program if anyone needs that. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to read Philippians um, chapter 1, verses 3 through uh, 26. No, 3 through uh, 30. <coughs> I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine, making requests for you all with joy, for your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this very thing that he who has begun a good work in you will continue it until the day of Jesus Christ. Just as it is right for me to think this of you all, because I have you in my heart, inasmuch as both in my chains and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel, you all are partakers with me of grace. For God is my witness, how greatly I long for you all with the affection of Jesus Christ. And this I pray, that your love may abound still more and more in knowledge and all discernment, that you may approve the things that are excellent, that you may be sincere and without offense till the day of Christ, being filled with the fruits of righteousness, which are by 
Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. But I want you to know, brethren, that the things which happened to me have actually turned out for the furtherance of the gospel, so that it has become evident to the whole palace guard and to all the rest that my chains are in Christ. And most of the brethren in the Lord, having become confident by my chains, are much more bold to speak the word without fear. Some indeed preach Christ even from envy and strife, and some also from goodwill. The former preach Christ from selfish ambition, not sincerely, supposing to add affliction to my chains, but the latter out of love, knowing that I am appointed for the defense of the gospel. What then? Only that in every way, whether in pretense or in truth, Christ is preached, and in this I rejoice, yes, and will rejoice. For I know that this will turn out for my deliverance through your prayer and the supply of the Spirit of Jesus Christ, according to my earnest expectation and hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed, but with all boldness, as always. So now, also Christ will be magnified in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, to live is Christ, and to die is gain. But if I live on in the flesh, this will mean fruit for my labor. Yet what shall I choose, I cannot tell. For I am hard pressed between the two, having a desire to depart and be with Christ, which is far better. Nevertheless, to remain in the flesh is more needful for you. And being confident of this, I know that I shall remain and continue with you all for your progress progress and joy of faith and your rejoicing for me may, may be more abundant in Jesus Christ by my coming to you again. Let's pray. Awesome. Father, we just thank you so much for this night. Lord, we thank you that we can get together as believers in you, Lord, and worship you and serve you and honor you and glorify your name. Lord, your word is it is sharper than a two-edged sword, Lord. It is everything that we need. There's nothing lacking in this book, Lord. Let us be doers of your word, not just hearers. Let us live the gospel, Lord, every day of our lives. Let us preach the gospel 24-7, and when we must, let us use words. Lord, we thank you for this gathering. We thank you for the lesson that Mark is going to bring to us today. We know that it's going to going to, to do something in our hearts and it's going to be meant specifically for someone in this room tonight. We ask you, Holy Spirit, to, to be with us. We know that Scripture tells us when two or more are gathered together in your name, you are here. We welcome you in this place. We welcome you in our lives. Please bless this night in the precious name of our Savior, Jesus. Amen. 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 By the way, uh, Mark Hamill and I know what he's going to teach on, but after the end of the big service, he's switched it to Ezekiel 23. <laughs> 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 And the rule is, so everybody knows, when Larry shows up, he's supposed to teach. So if anybody wants to give him grief, go right ahead and we can kick him out of the class. Gary's not here, right? So I bet keep track of time for him. Greg, we got the time. Greg, you got the time? All right. Over 60? Probably. Yeah. You count the part? Yeah. What we got? 60. 60? Larry's got to go. He's throwing the curve off. You see that? If you want to know how to get something done, I asked Aquita to get us a board to write on. Huh? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I want to make sure we're going to use the permanent markers like I did last time. I had to pay for that. <laughs> Is that permanent? No, those are, those, those, are those are dry erase. Those are dry erase. Alcohol takes all permanent. Let's write on your forehead first and we'll see. <laughs> 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 
We don't have the stick. <laughs> yeah. well, I don't have the tape on the forehead. Um, yeah, everybody. Did everybody go to church today? Yeah. Everybody saw church? Or you didn't see? No. You didn't see it. I was middle school kids. You it need to great. see it. Okay. You see, and where is Sarita? Best music in how long? Oh. Uh, that awesome. was. Yeah, it was awesome. awesome. I had the message too. You should have did that last time. That's because it was dirty. I'm That's why you like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is your yeah. Okay, this past week, something very big happened. Anybody know what it was? The election. No, no, something big. Well, Ball State upset a top 25 team, right, for Terry, which is not, who's not here. He's probably drunk to celebrate. Um, no, we're not going to get in trouble because I'm sure... A good portion of people here are happy with the results. A good portion are very unhappy with the results of what happened this week. Let's just put it in perspective. Are you, are you stretching? Yeah. Oh, no, you're going to tell me which way. We're not going to have to show our hands here. Um, we, I need a reader. What, Alan? Some of those could care less. I know. I know. There's, there's some of those, too. I got you. Um, who do we have? Mike, you got your Bible? Okay, you're loud. We need somebody loud. This isn't on, is it? Do I need this? Can yeah. everybody hear me without it? Sure. You don't hear me. All right. All right, Mike. Get Isaiah 55 9. And Bakar, you have a Bible? Yeah, but Judy took it. I'll read. I'll read. I'll read. Yeah. Mark. Mark. Yeah. Who's like? Medora. Oh, yeah. Medora's like. Okay, Medora, you get Daniel 432. All right. Let's do Isaiah 55 9 first. Loud, loud. You guys have to get a box. No, we don't, we're okay with Bar. We're good. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Okay, now go with the Is it 432? Daniel 432. Okay. You will be driven away from people and will live with the wild animals. You will eat grass like cattle. Seven times will pass by for you until you acknowledge that the Most High is sovereign over the kingdoms of men and gives them to anyone he wishes. Okay, now. Yeah. For everybody that doesn't know, put it in context, talking about Nebuchadnezzar, yep. right? Okay, Nebuchadnezzar, everybody's heard of him? King, very powerful. What were the truths that we were told in those two verses? God's in control. God's in control. Mm -hmm. He sits on the throne. Doesn't matter, we all live in cities here. For those who live in Coral Springs, we have a new mayor, right? Yes. And we found out the old mayor decided he liked to smoke pot. Yes. Right? Uh, we have councilors. <laughs> that was in the paper. This yes. I saw it. Yes. 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 He's now running for office in California. <laughs> 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 I thought that was Washington State. Never, right? Right? Well, well, was state. Washington and Colorado. Right. 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 Uh, these are the truths that this tells us. Regardless of what happens, we've got somebody on the throne that's much higher than who sits in public office here and who runs the world. Amen. We've had a lot of people run a lot of kingdoms, a lot of emperors, a lot of rulers, a lot of presidents. We still have a God that's in control. Whether you're happy or not, believe me, in four years it's changing again anyway. It's what we make. Um, <clears throat> Second thing is we need to trust God in all things. That's right. He knows what's going on. You know, this doesn't happen by accident. He puts rules in place for his own purposes. We don't know his purposes, as Mike said. His ways are not our ways. We're not going to understand these things. We are finite beings. He is an infinite God. That, like Pastor Rogers said, right? <coughs> you reserve the word awesome for God. We're not going to grasp that. So, so if you're unhappy, don't let it get to you that much. If you're happy, so be it. If you want my opinion, I'm not going to give it to you. Uh, as my wife will tell you, I have an opinion on everything. Everything. Um, and if you ask me, I'll tell you what I think and convince you that I'm right. Otherwise, don't worry about it. Now, we're going to stay. Um, I'm going to pass these out here. Let's do this now. Everybody. I can't read my word. That's my own writing. I can't read uh, I've seen your writing. It's bad. I know. It's bad. Uh, we're going to start with a couple of things here. Stay along the line with, with what David was talking about, not the dirty stuff, Serena, but the other stuff. 
and where Larry's been about studying the Bible, how it can be a daunting task if you just sit there going, that's pretty big, you know? And I, I realized this, that I, I can't remember how long, but probably two or three years ago, we have, we didn't have near as many people here in a lot of different phases where I went through the apologetics part about where the Bible came from. Uh, who was here when we did all that? Just one? That's it? You were here, Ricardo? Yeah. Yeah, but you don't listen. <laughs> okay, we're not doing the, we're not going to do the apologetics thing again tonight. If if we need to, you know, Larry, you decide sometime. Maybe after New Year, you want to do that. We'll do it again. If you want, I can find the notes for it. I'm sure. Uh, but I want to touch on a few things. Uh, going with what you, what Larry's been at in, in John, we're going to stay there. We're going to jump around a lot. But first of all, let's let's figure out what we have before we decide how to study it. Let's figure out what we've got. Now, I have this one. I have different ones because my wife buys me things. If I drop the right hints, I get stuff. So I've got a lot of ones. This one tonight, I've got the New King James. Who has something different than the New King James? Larry, you've got, Larry, you have your Bible? Is it the Holman one? Yeah. Okay. The Holman, New King James. What else do we have? American Standard. American Standard? And I have a New International. New International. Is that pretty much it? Ryrie Study Bible. Is it NIV? That's, that's Which New American Standard. That's American Standard. That's American Standard. Right? Yeah. Okay. Um, what do we know about all of those? What are they? Translation. <coughs> translation versions. Yeah. Actually, technically, I guess they're versions because the translation is into English and right. then the version. Let, let's see. Let's just find out where it came from so we kind of have a starting point. What do we know? And just throw this out. What do we know about the Bible? First of all, it's God breathed. Okay, how many testaments do we have? Two. Two. Everybody was in church tonight, right? We have the Old Testament, the New Testament. Okay, how many books here? Old Testament? 39. 39? Okay. And originally, before they broke it up, it was 20, 24 or 22, depending on how you saw it, because they originally they had a. Uh, what was it? Uh, yeah, Jeremiah and Lamentations were one, and, Ju and Judges and Ruth were one. But when they put it together and divided it up, and put it because it wasn't originally in different, they didn't have verses, they didn't have chapters, they kind of did all that. Uh, so it's changed. But again, this was written in what language? Hebrew. 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 Okay. Hebrew. And actually. Two passages are in Aramaic. Now, how many <coughs> books do we have in the New Testament? 27. 27. 27? What language? Greek. 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 Okay, how long did it take to write it? The whole thing. Did I know? 700 years. A little bit more. 1,500 years. Who said 1,500? Sorry. Oh, no, don't worry. Okay, Don. Fifteen hundred years. That's pretty close from what we, what they can tell. Basically, from um, the best it's packed is fourteen oh five BC. Anybody know what the first book is supposedly known to be written? Job. Who said that? Job. Don. Yeah. Louder, Don. Don. Job. 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 Yeah. Right. Job's the oldest. Okay. Um, what was the last book written? This is easy. Revelation. Revelation. Here's a revelation. Let me ask. Yeah. 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 Can you see all this? That's not anything. You probably can't read it right anyway. You okay? All right. We're not looking anyway. Okay, from about 1405 BC to most estimates fall within 95 AD. The only controversy there, it's not really controversy. Uh, and I've actually changed this myself, which I know will surprise my wife and actually change my mind and something here. But um, most people, the consensus is Revelation was written about 95 AD uh, by, everybody knows who, who wrote it? John. John. John, John the Baptist? No. no. Uh, John the Beloved. The half brother of Jesus, right? Yes. No, not the okay. half brother. One of his disciples. Yes. The half brother. Yes. James was the half brother. Yeah, James was the half brother. Uh, no, 
I'll ask you a question. Is that 1,500 years? Does that yep. include the 400 years? Of yes. yes. It, it was, that was the period. We, we're going to get to that part. Oh. If, you, if, you, if you're going to come and not teach, you have to sit and be quiet. <laughs> Basically, history. Who begot who? 
Well, yeah, you got to know. you got to know where you come from, right? Well, you all know Mike comes from... Go ahead, tell me. Go ahead. What? Tell me your background. I just think it's somewhere. <laughs> Part of Amish? He's Amish. Yeah. Anybody saw Kingpin? <laughs> All right, the next five books, which are basically uh, Job to Song of Solomon. If you have NIV, it's a Song of Songs. That is wisdom. That's a poetry, stuff like that, the songs and all that. Uh, then you have the major prophets, which would be Isaiah through Daniel. That, uh, yeah, there's five of those. Isaiah through Daniel, major prophets, and we all have some prophetic stuff. Includes Ezekiel, we we're in tonight for Serena. Um, then we have the five minor prophets. Wow. Well. Twelve minor prophets. Yeah. <laughs> minor, which would be Hosea to Malachi. Okay. This written, going back to what Larry was saying, about 1405 BC to about 405 BC, roughly, maybe a year or two in there. Uh, stuff that occurred over that time. That's just when it was penned. And again, we think the oldest one is Job. We think that was the first one written. Is that right, Larry? Is that what you heard? Yes, you know. You can talk. <laughs> okay, you have to miss I think it's Job. We'll ask somebody else. Come on, Larry. Come on, Larry. Yes. That's the Now, after Malachi was finished, Hosea <coughs> Malachi. What? Oh. After Malachi was finished, we had 400 years where God did not inspire any writing, he didn't do any miracles, he didn't do any, he was silent, silent, until what? Who? Who came on the scene? Christ. No, keep going. John the Baptist. John the Baptist. John the Baptist. And he proclaimed the Savior was here. Right? Yeah. Okay. Now we get to the New Testament. Which again, we know how many books? 27. 27. Okay. First four books, the Gospels. Refer to the life, the birth, the life, uh, the death of Jesus Christ. Right? Yeah. <coughs> Resurrection too, yeah. Uh, then you have uh, Acts, which is basically the story of his life. And the establishment of church. Church. Okay. Then you have the epistles, which I think is the letters. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Yeah. Which are letters to the churches and individuals, basically laying out what Jesus did and what it means and how to go forward. Then you have the Book of Revelation, which would be well, it starts with the first four chapters of current church and church age. Then we go through Revelation and the troubles and everything. And it culminates uh, in the end with the establishment of the earthly kingdom and the dismissal of the sinful world to disappear. Here's the interesting thing. And again, some of this stuff, if, if you were here and we did the apologetic stuff, and they repeat a little bit of it, but there's a whole lot of people here I know that weren't here then. Uh, the first two books and the last two books of the entire thing, the first two books of Genesis, last two books of Revelation, are the only four books in the Bible that don't deal with the fall of man and the consequences of sin. First two were creation, last two were after the everything's gone and we have the new earth and kingdom. Everything in between deals with that subject matter. Everything. I find that pretty amazing. Uh, that's basically the first two books of Genesis which talked about before the fall of man. The first two chapters before the fall of man. The last two chapters of Revelation, which is after it's the, the coming kingdom, the earthly kingdom is established. Outside of those those four, everything else deals with the fall of man and the consequences of that. It's, it's amazing. You know, people stop to realize that. Um, okay. Now, let me make sure I got the little answers. You guys are getting cheap. Yeah, we're going to pass them out. I don't think we've got enough. I think I've got 65. 
It's front and back. Yes, John 16, 12. John 16, 12. Okay, the door is 12. Read 12. Read 12. Read 12. It's my copy. I, I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. Okay. That is in IV, right, Cliff? <laughs> no. This is King James. That's King mine James. says, this is what mine says. I have much more to say to you, more than you can now bear. Yes. That's okay. the NIV. Okay. Has everybody got their sheet? Because I put it on there in the new King James for a reason. Has everybody got that? Sheets are coming. Has everybody got something to write with? I don't know. No. We have one pistol here. <laughs> one pistol. Everybody can share. Yeah. 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 Anybody else need one? Anybody else need one? Anybody else need one? Anybody else need one? Anybody else want a pen? Yes, I, I, I need a pen. I'll go ahead. You know what I just did? I'll just go into the rest of the story. Amazing what's in there. Everybody got it? <coughs> Look at the side that doesn't have plates. Look at the side that doesn't have plates. It's two sides. You guys, you don't have to share this. Take one for yourself, because if you will, you may never look at it again. Fold it up, put it in the back of your Bible, because we're going to get some things in a little bit that I think it's just good that you have, and you can go back and read it if you want. Um, that's what we do have some right with. We get to the back side, I want to take one over. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Majora, you read it? Yep. And I wrote on here that the New King James because what was he saying in the context of this? Again, we're going back to what Larry was talking about last week. Well, there's lots more to get information on, but he's not giving it up yet. Yeah. Now, what can we take from that? The scriptures weren't necessarily finished. He said there's more coming. He didn't say what they were. He just said there's more coming. Then if we go down and look, point number two on your sheet. He promised that this revelation would be completed after the Spirit came, which is verse 13. Where he says, the Holy Spirit's going to guide you in all truth. More is coming. You're not going to be left out in the cold. You have the Old Testament scriptures, which they did. Uh, here, here's a... We've got some people here with Catholic backgrounds, right? Catholic. Reed, you're not Catholic. What? She's Catholic? <laughs> yes. Oh, no. hey. well, that explains the red hair, I guess. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, He's in trouble. Was Catholic. Was Catholic. Was. Okay. We have read Catholic. Uh, <laughs> okay. what, what we mentioned before was somebody answered on the book. What? What do they call, we call the first five books of the Old Testament, the Torah. the Torah. What do we call the whole Old Testament? Pentateuch. Pentateuch, okay. Um, after the Pentateuch, 
There was a group of 14 books penned during that 400 years, actually about 150 BC. All the Septuagint. A lot of you will know that that's included in some Bibles of different faiths. What was it called? Septuagint. Septuagint. Uh, not the Septuagint, the Apocrypha. I'm sorry. What? Septuagint. Apocrypha. Yeah, I know. There's a reason why our Bible doesn't contain that, even all the versions we have. Yeah. I'm really messing up my time here. Uh, we're we're going to get to that, but the Apocrypha does not. Jesus doesn't reference any word recorded in the 14 books of the Apocrypha. None of the New Testament authors were part of it. Take the whole thing. We're part of the whole thing. Take the whole thing. Thank you. None of the New Testament authors. Good thing I wasn't you doing that. <laughs> That's okay. He's on a short lease, too. We got a list on him. Uh, they didn't reference it at all. And at the time, Christ's time, that was not accepted as part of the Holy Scripture. The entire Old Testament was done and complete and recorded. And that was accepted by the Hebrews as the Old Testament Scriptures. Did not include the Apocrypha. That's why we don't have it. Uh, I think if there was any legitimacy to it, Jesus probably would have said at some point, oh, let's go to this one, and he never did. Never did. So just, just a side note here. Okay. Point number three in the sheet. Everybody look, please take notes. If you can. He outlined in advance, in advance, before anything was written, <coughs> the elements of the New Testament revelation. A was the historical part, where he said, bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. Okay, that's at 14.26. We're not going to read it unless Cliff's putting them up. Hopefully you can kind of see them there. Mm -hmm. B was the doctrinal part where he said the interpretation of the historical facts teach you all things, which is 14.26 and 16.14. And C, the prophetic, tell you of things to come. Okay? Uh, I think we can take him at his word. What he was saying is, we're going to write it all down for you. And I'm going to lay out the way it's going to be written down so you'll know this is what you're supposed to have in advance. In advance. We'll get to some of the controversial books that well, we might not get to. Uh, okay, he chose certain persons to receive and witness to these revelations. And I've got the scriptures here. We're not going to go into them for time reason, but uh, please, if you have them, look them up later. You'll see them in Matthew 28, 19, John 15, 17. 16.13 and an Acts with those references there. Uh, he said who's going to write it. He chose who was going to write it. There are, and again we'll go to the apologetics thing that a lot of you didn't get. Uh, there were qualifications and prerequisites for the authorship to verify. Uh, anything that was written in two or three hundred AD didn't make the cut because they didn't have first hand knowledge during that time. They were not alive. They didn't witness it firsthand. So a lot of these books that you've seen out there, uh, Thomas and you know uh, Judas and all that, all those were written like two, three hundred A.D., some four hundred A.D. Well, if he was dead in forty-five A.D., how did he write something three hundred A.D.? What they did is they wrote it, put the name on it, trying to give it some credibility and pass it off. And here, two thousand years later, you still have people trying to claim that it's legitimate stuff, which is not not the case. Uh, <coughs> Everybody that wrote it was personally chosen by Jesus. They either walked with him, they were associates of people who walked with him, and also, what was the nationality of all of them? Jewish. 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 Exception of maybe Luke. Luke, right? right. 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 Luke. They said he may be half Jewish, right? Maybe yeah. I didn't know. Okay. Um, for, for, for me, Karen, we got, we got Judy. Uh, who else in here has got Jewish background? Jewish. Jewish. Okay. Yeah. We, we're getting a lot. Okay. Tough pill to swallow for a lot of the Jews. Jesus was Jewish. The entire New Testament is written by Jews. Jewish. Yeah, you know, they don't want to accept it. That's just the way it is. Okay. He gave to their words, when speaking for him in the Spirit, precisely the same authority as his own words. He said, "If you speak, okay, Larry, go ahead." There was one author who was not Jewish. Luke. Which Luke. one? Luke. We he said that. He said, said that. that. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Wake up. This is the 
Just get the whips out. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, too, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll reach right to your alley before I can leave. I'm going to sleep over here. I start marching right now. Give him a little slack. He's really old. This is evident from the passages such as John 17 and Acts 1.8. For only this could the accurate witness of the chosen writers reach all the nations after they had passed away. Because, as we know, by the end of the first century A.D., none of them were alive. They were gone. And probably all except John before 70 A.D. That's what we can tell. There's a couple of things that some people said. I forgot which one may have been alive in like 80. But it doesn't matter. By the first century, they were gone. So this was a predetermined, pre-planned process that Christ put into effect and told them, this is how you're going to know. That what you're going to get, they're going to come from these people. They're going to write it down. These are their qualifications so that you don't get any bastardized things because they won't fit the qualifications. He had that. But in order for that to be passed along, it had to be written down because they were all dead within 100 years. Right? That makes sense? Okay. Now, number, uh, number seven. Some of the new revelation was reported by men outside of the original apostolic group, which is what I was talking about. Mark and Luke were not in the original group that walked with Jesus. Uh, that's explained by the fact that there were prophets in the early church when, like Paul, they were chosen by the ascended Christ. That's Ephesians 4.11. Uh, and who not only received new revelation, which is in Ephesians again, or the chapter three, to explain that they received new revelation, okay, but also recorded it. Through. Romans tells us that. Who wrote Romans? <coughs> Paul. 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 <coughs> right, right there. Yeah. Right there. <coughs> Being cute. Oh. <laughs> now. Look, do we have Second Timothy? Are you there? Wait, Mike. Do you have your Bible? No, that's okay. I'll read. It. I'll read it because I got some King James that I want to read. Here. I got First King James. You got it. Second Timothy three sixteen and seventeen. Wow. It's at the bottom here. It's on the bottom of the sheet. It's on the bottom of the sheet. I know. Some people can't read. <laughs> no, but he just came here. Uh-uh. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable, profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped with, for every good work. Okay. Self-explanatory. Self-explanatory. Doesn't do any good if you never read it. It's our instruction book. It's like David was saying to her. It's like the owner's manual of your car. You've got to take it out and read it or you won't know what you need to do. And we've got it all. We've got it all. Now, flip it over because I've got two, yeah, two pages. If you've got this, I'll go through it quick and give you the answer. I'll read 2 Timothy 2.15. It says, 
do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a workman who does not need to be ashamed and correctly handles the word of truth. Uh, the original King James says, rightly divides the word of truth. Okay. Uh, we need to read it. We need to pray before we read it and ask for guidance. That's why we have the Holy Spirit to do that. So that the applicable things to us that are relevant to us today will be revealed to us through His Word. Now, here's the side note before I give you all the answers on this stuff. This is basically a statement of what the Bible should mean to us. But anyone who claims today to have extra biblical information or words or the ability is a form. Okay, they just point the top. If you see them on TV or you want to send them money, you know, understand that. We have the completed word of God. There is no extra biblical. If there is today, then this isn't valid. It doesn't hold up. There's no bonus there. It can't be. It just can't be. So just the first thing, you know, hopefully not offending anybody that likes that. It's too bad. Okay. We'll, we'll go through the answers real quick for two minutes. We'll do the answer, okay? The book contains the. Any, let's spin word. it. Don't do it. The mind. Word. The word. The word. Mind of God. Word. Mind. Mind. That's it. The mind of God. So smarty pants. Who said that? Stephanie. Stephanie. Go, girl. Stephanie got it. Wow. Larry, if you get me these, we can take something to watch that. My goodness. <laughs> 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 Fall. The what a man. Fall. 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 The son. History. The son of man. No. Story. No. State. Oh. State. They all fit, but state's the one I was looking for. Okay. The what of salvation. Plan. Plan, Plan. Plan. Plan of salvation. Plan. Plan. Way of salvation. Way of salvation. Way of salvation. Way of salvation. What of sinners? That's a little hard. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. And the what of belief? Hope. Hope. Happiness. Uh, promise. I would say happiness. Happiness is what I will do. Happiness. Okay. It's. I'll give you. Doctrine is holy. Its precepts are binding. Wait a minute. Doctrine and precepts. Its histories are true, and its decisions are immutable. Read it to be wise. <coughs> Believe it to be saved. Practice it to be holy. Everybody got that? Which one? What happened to write them down? What happened after he put the name? Yeah. 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 She wrote it on the board this time. Which one did you need? Correct. It's all in there. It's going to take too long if I write it. I'm going to do 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 it
Light. 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 Oh, you're going to do it? Okay. Food? Yeah. To support you? Comfort to cheer you? It's the traveler's what? Guide, guide map, maps. <coughs> the pilgrim staff? Staff. What is it, staff? Map. Well, wait, wait. After comfort, you've got map. 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 Staff. Pilot's compass. <coughs> Soldier's sword. Everybody up with it? Yeah. Christian's charter. Are we caught up? <coughs> okay. Christ is the grand subject. It's Christ. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Here, here, here. Here, here. The other one. Okay. Heaven. 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 Heaven is open. And the gates of what? Hell. Who said it? Hell. 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 I did. Now it's gate. Christ is the grand subject. Our good is design. Good. The glory of who? It's in. God. God. It should fill the memory. Rule the heart. Guide the feet. Everybody got it? Let's just close with that last verse. Everybody. For this reason we also thank God without ceasing, because when you received the word of God, which you heard from us, you welcomed it not as the word of men, but as, as it is in truth, the word of God, which also effectively works and you who believe. It's living, it's breathing, it's relevant, it's applicable. How much over all? Applicable? Seven minutes? All right, Joe, you come pray us out there. Father, we, uh, we thank you for this teaching that uh, you, you gave to Mark to give to us, Lord. And uh, Lord, we, we just want to make sure that your word is, is, is deep in our hearts and our, our minds and our souls and that we just live your word, Lord. It's, it's your word that convicts souls. It's your word that leads people to you, God. It's your word that created this world. You spoke this world into existence. That's your word, Lord. Let us always have it with us and never abandon it. Thank you for this time of teaching. We pray that uh, this message reached hearts and souls and minds of your children. And uh, we just offer up this day. We pray that you would bless us throughout this week. That any needs that people have, that you would meet. We love you. And it's in your name we pray. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Before we get started, I just want to say one thing real quick. Thank you, Greg. Before we get started, on the cake and ice cream, he will never teach another lesson. Seriously, that was his intention. Seriously, I'll tell you what. Mark, 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 this is a continuance of what Pastor David said. Okay. Make it stick. This lesson, the way he laid it out, taking it home, putting the words to the blanks, will make it stick if you read it, and you read it, and you read it, you 
start to memorize it. And what I'm saying is when we're going through some struggles, when we're going through times of difficulty, we can turn to these and get your encouragement. I think it's wonderful. Did anybody not get this? So they'll have it. Everybody who wants to have it. Everybody has it. Everybody got it. Any, anybody not get the uh, Thanksgiving sign up if you want it?